Okay, so someone asked me how do I remote control the hard top, the hard top to close or open. You know, because normally you have to hold it for about 25 seconds, 25 seconds or so to, uh, you know, it's it's not really the best thing to do. You know, like you're touching it for 25 seconds, you know, like if you want to scratch your nose or something. And, you know, instead of like writing it, and I was like, you know what, I might as well make a video. So the way... Uh, I do that is I got Best Buy to install me a Viper 5706V system. So this is the remote. And the way it works is it has a remote start function. But the other cool feature it has is it has four auxiliary four auxiliary channels. So like this is the function button. So level, there's one, two, three, four. So those are four channels that you could use to send or pulse a signal. So like I said, it takes about 25 seconds. I think it's bright out here. Okay, so I guess I'll do the remote start real quick. It's the middle button to start the remote start. So that's the remote start. That's the remote start function. And if I wanna close down the hard top and you gotta go to a level 2 and that's what it does so and it's pretty much what happens is it sends a signal for about 30 seconds because the average is about 25 but you never know sometimes Sometimes it just varies. So, what what? So if you're gonna get a remote start system, make sure that the system that you has ha can send or pulse a signal. And you know that's just one signal. If you want the signal to open the uh, rooftop, then you need another. You need at least two channels. One to either close the top, and one to open the top. So what? makes it so useful is you know if, in case it starts raining randomly you know in Texas it happens a lot and you're really far away you know you could just close the top when you're far away instead of you know like running to your car and holding it for 30 seconds another way of doing it is I also have a oh god got delivered today I also have the smart start module And what it does is so the way I did mine is mine has four channels and I could actually do I could actually remote start using my phone so if I turn off the remote start right now sorry about the mess in the garage so so it turned off and then I'll turn it back on. There's a delay with this. I'm actually trying to do this using the uh, Google Voice command so that I can also do it in my watch. But if you're gonna do the same route that I do, make sure that you put the uh, auxiliary on auxiliary one, auxiliary two for the uh, open and close because that's what the uh, app only allows you to do. Even though you know the. Uh, the whole system has four channels, four auxiliary channels. Make sure you have it in auxiliary one and two, because that's the only one that the smart start uses. So right now I did, I just did the auxiliary two, and what's also gonna do is rope down the top, just in case it starts raining. And you know, you're as long as I have internet, I'll be able to either remote start the car or close the top. That never gets old. But yeah, there you go. That is the uh, remote start system using the uh, Viper 5706P. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs>